and welcome to this Machina Basics tutorial. I've covered this topic before in uh, this tutorial, I'll put a link to it up in the uh, top right hand side, where I did some scales called an arpeggios, that was a while back now, and I did I sort of did this as part of the whole process, but that's quite a long video, so I wanted to just do a really basic and quick video around adding sounds into Machina, just using the browsing function and how to add sounds directly from the controller. Whether you choose to do it from the controller, you probably just want to do it from here in most cases, but there is a certain satisfying feeling and there is a nice kind of... Uh, you can really, really kind of get around quickly once you've learned how to do it in the controller. And um, yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just very, very pleasant to use once you've kind of got used to it. So this is your basic setup, and of course your sounds are added into your pads, 1 to 16, and you have your group, so if you hold down group and press on your second group, you have another set of sounds, 1 to 16, and you can select sound 16 there, hold down group, go back to group 1, go back to the group A, and you are back into sound one in group A. But if we want to actually add a sound onto there, well, if we want to load up anything in Machina, we can do that directly from the controller using the browse function. And once we're in here, we get, so we get given, this is what it'll probably show you, and in fact, let me just go back to here. This is what it'll show you as standard, you'll have project showing up here, which is the first of these options here in the top left hand corner. And this is what we're looking to scroll across. It kind of suggests that you should press this right arrow to scroll across them. That's not the case. You use the scroll wheel, in fact, to go between groups and sounds and instruments and effects and samples. So they're the kind of main six areas that you're going to want to load up. And once you've selected the area you want to load, in this case, I'm going to add a pro uh, project because it they sound pretty good, and I want to just play something nice. You then use these arrows to, to sort of filter it down a little bit. So in this case, I need to choose an actual product that it's coming from. And I can list all of them if I want. So once, you know, once I go to my list option here, I can list all of them. But I'm probably going to want to filter it down a little bit. So my product is now maybe one of the expansion packs. So let's go to, let's go to Golden Kingdom. And now I've selected that product. If I go to my list option here, I have my projects listed. And there are only six, and we can see those six here in the software as well. There are only six projects, because projects are sort of quite big things, and uh, there aren't tons of them included as part of most expansion packs. But now I can use my scroll wheel to scroll between those, and once I finally find the one I'm going to uh, load up, I just hit the scroll wheel. And I get given the option now to discard my project because I'm loading up a new project, so I can just discard that, it's fine. And there we go, we've got our project loaded. Great. So now if I just do a new project again, it's the same same sort of functionality with sound. So if I want to add a sound in, you just choose the one that you want to add by tapping on the particular pad, go to the sound, and now I can uh, go back to my browse function again, go to filter, and then go back to the type, the file type, and I want to add, let's say we want to add a sample to this, or maybe I could add, I'll tell you what, no, I'll add an instrument to this particular pad. And now I'm going to scroll across again, and I'm going to pick my product, because of course the, there are loads here, there are 16,393, if you can see that, I think you can see that. Uh, there are 16,393 of these, so I do want to filter it a little bit, so I'm now going to sort of go between, you've got Abbey Road, different drum kits, and uh, so let's scroll down to maybe FM8. Um, that's something I use quite often. So we have our product FM8 in there, and we've now gone down to a more reasonable 1,142. Still quite a lot, but hey-ho, we can filter that further here, or indeed we can filter that in, the, um, in, in here as well. So if I go to my list now, then I just jump straight to this massive list which is a, still a little bit clunky, so we're going to want to filter a little bit more, aren't we? So go to a particular bank, 
Um, no, we'll just go to, no, in fact, we'll just include all in here and a type. So now we're scrolling between, we're now scrolling this top section here. In fact, I'm covering it with my hand, so I'll just let me get that out of the way. And I want something maybe, um, what would I, what am I going to go with? Plucked strings. Can I go with, oh, soundscapes. Yes, I love soundscapes. Good. Now scroll across again. And now we've gone to something that has a subtype we get given this subtype option. So the number has changed and we've now got a subtype as part of that. So gloomy, I'm go, go with a gloomy or peaceful. Should we have peaceful, a peaceful um, instrument? And now we have our mode and it might just be a chord or, you know, as it is, as it is here. This is all dependent upon the particular instrument you're loading, of course. And, but let's just go with chord, that's fine. And um, I haven't got any favorites allocated here. So now we've, now we've got a list and we've only got two. Brilliant. So we've got a choice of that or that. So I'm just going to go with that. And now we have our sound loaded in. And if I just edit, uh, if I just enter pad mode now and change my uh, chord type, change my scale type to our minor pentatonic again. It's quite quiet, isn't it? Very, very quiet, that actually. But that's okay. So, I mean, if we wanted to load another one now, we can go back to here and reset this to something a bit different. Maybe pianos and keys. What about uh, an E piano? Can I, can I do an E piano in here, digital piano? Will it be part of that? Uh, no, just just a chord is fine. And now our list. There's only two in here. That one's fine. And if you're wondering about more details about how I did the sort of um, scales on here, jump again to that video that I mentioned at the start. But that's it. That's all there is to it when you're adding adding a sound. You can do it very, very simply from here using the browse function, and you can just turn that off and get back to normal functionality once you're done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the tutorial, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.